Welcome, today we're gonna to talk about our third pattern of play. If you haven't seen our first or our second videos on the patterns of play, or even the intro to the seven doubles patterns of play, we're gonna put a link right above and check that out, and then come back to this and watch this one. So the third pattern of play is a wide ball, and especially when you're at the baseline and you get pulled out towards the outside of the alley. Um, one thing that you should already know, hopefully you've already learned this, but if you hadn't, we'll go over it now, is that when your partner gets pulled off the court, you should be following them out there so that you close the space off between you and your partner. You never want to leave a big gap between you and your partner so you can get beat through the middle. You want to force your opponents to either beat you wide or a good lob over your head. Yeah, so in this first example, On gets pulled off the court, and you can see that she's crossing over the doubles line. She's pretty far off the court, and Diana has followed her like Todd was talking about. So now On has a decision to make. Is she going to go cross court, or is she going to hit that ball down the line? And in this first example, she hits a cross court. Yeah, and you can see when she brings that ball cross court, the ball is not in front of the two players, and that's a real key concept that you want to learn and use when you're learning these patterns of play is you want to keep the ball in front of you and your partner. And so as Diana moves to the center and on plays that ball cross court, it's not in front of them and Diana cannot cover that down the line shot and Lisa burns her down the line. So where should they go? Um, well, the, the, one of the keys and one of the fundamentals that we've been talking about in a lot of our patterns is to keep the ball in front of you and your partner. So now that on is pulled off the court, Diana's in the center. A smart play would be to play it right at the net player, which is in front of the two players. You're covering the line, you're covering that cross court ball through the middle, and you're only allowing them to hit a sharp volley angle, which is a really tough shot. When you hit a ball down the line, or what we call down the line, you should not be trying to pass your opponent. You can see Aaron's kind of uh, close to the alley, and if On was truly trying to hit a passing shot, she's probably gonna miss that ball wide because there's just not enough court available. So instead of that, she's gonna hit that ball directly at him. And you can see when On takes this ball right at Aaron, there's two things that can happen. If she drives that ball, especially at his backhand volley, a lot of times you're gonna get an error. But if he happens to get that ball back, Diana's in the center of the court waiting for that next shot, which is the most likely spot for him to hit it. And the reason why he goes through the center of the court or down the middle is because uh, the angle of the ball traveling from outside the court back inside the court. Once it travels back in, he's just more likely to take that ball through the center, right where Diana is standing, ready to put away the volley. Yeah, so you can think of this as a play. That's why it's one of our patterns of play, and it's a setup play. You're setting your partner up. They're following you to the middle of the court, and you're setting them up to get that next ball. So you have a couple options uh, when you're going down the line, and these are decisions that you have to make in the moment. How close, in this case, is Aaron standing to the net? If he's standing extremely close, you're probably going to take that ball down the line, but you're going to go up over his head, so you're going to lob him. And if he's standing kind of far back, down, back by the service line, you may chip that ball and dump it to his feet, so he has to lift it where Diana can then really crunch it. All right, so next time you're playing doubles and you get pulled out wide, Remember, take that ball down the line, right at the net player. They're either going to miss that shot or your partner's going to be ready for that next ball in the center of the court. So we hope you guys enjoyed this pattern of play. And if you've been watching these videos but you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, do that. That helps us out a lot. Also, we want to hear back from you because we want to be able to engage in the conversation with you. So make sure that you leave your remarks, your comments, uh, all the way down below the other videos. You'll see a comment section. Until next week.